Hi everyone, it's Peter here and I've just had a One by Wacom delivered which is the first graphics tablet which is fully compatible with Chromebooks. It promises to be a really useful tool for teachers so I'm interested in getting this out of the box and trying out some different Chromebook apps on my Pixelbook Go. Okay, so let's see what we've got in the box. Okay, so in the box we've got our graphics tablet, we've got our pen which is a bit bigger than the normal uh, pen I have with my Chromebook so this would be a bit nicer to use. We've also got some spare nibs, my pen, a USB cable, and some instructions I probably don't need to read because this should be plug and play on a Chromebook. Okay, so let's get it hooked up to my Pixelbook Go and try it out on some Chromebook apps. Okay, so now I've got the One by Wacom hooked up to my Pixelbook Go. So let's try out Jamboard. I'm on a web version of Jamboard here and I'm using the tablet and you can see it's already working. It's taking no configuration, no drivers on a Chromebook. It's literally plug and play. Let's try out some different brushes. And I think I kind of prefer this actually, rather than a touch screen. It's been a while since I've used a graphics tablet, but I've forgotten it's quite nice having a more of a matte finish to write onto and being able to rest your hand on a graphics tablet uh, rather than trying to avoid resting my hand on my touch screen. Okay, now let's try writing something, shall we? So let's clear that and go back to our pen tool. Now, excuse my handwriting, it's uh, not the greatest. So I spend all my day typing normally. But yeah, it's nice writing on here, and I've got to say, it provides quite a nice experience for a budget-friendly uh, graphics tablet. Okay, let's try out Chrome Canvas next. I'm going to just open up a new tab and go to canvas.apps.chrome. Now, quick disclaimer, these wonderful pieces of artwork aren't actually mine. These are created by my six-year-old daughter. Okay, let's start a new drawing. And now let's select some of the different pen tools on the left-hand side and see how it responds. So, so far, neither Jamboard or Chrome Canvas are a pressure sensitive. So I'm pressing quite light here, but and now quite hard, but it doesn't make any difference. But yeah, it's nice and responsive, and perhaps I'd say it's a bit more responsive than using my uh, EMR stylus, my Acer Spin 13, or even the USI stylus on my Lenovo uh, Duet. Okay, let's try a different app and see if we can get the pressure sensitivity working. Um, what about Autodesk Sketchbook? Let's give this a go. Okay, so I've got a pencil tool selected here. Okay, let's, first of all, I'm just going to just try drawing really lightly. And now let's press a bit harder. Yeah, that's working in Autodesk. That's cool. Okay, now let's try out some of these different pen tools and see how these work with the pressure sensitivity. So pressing pretty light now. Let's try a bit harder. Not so much difference that time. What about this one? Okay, big difference there. Okay, last of all, let's try out the Squid Notes app, which is another Android app available for Chromebooks. Okay, let's go down to the bottom right and start off a new note. Let's go college ruled. Okay, here's our blank notepad. So let's try out the pressure sensitivity, see if that works. I'm pressing quite lightly now. Now let's press harder. Yeah, so it works in here. That's quite good. Okay, now let's try writing on here. So I'm just going to write my name. Again, excuse my handwriting. It's absolutely terrible. But writing on here does feel quite natural. I'm not sure if it's Squid or Graphics Tablet. I think it's probably Squid, but the lines, uh, the ink here is quite jagged. But I'm guessing that is Squid and not this tablet. Well, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the one by Wacom. It's affordable. It's plug and play with my Chromebook, so it took no configuration and it works really well with Google apps like Jamboard and Chrome Canvas. Uh, liked the fact it had pressure sensitivity in Autodesk Sketchbook and Squid. One thing I was hoping it might work with is the stylus tools on Chromebooks, but it appears that these tools are only available if your Chromebook has a stylus, which for Pixelbook Go, of course, doesn't. But apart from that, I think this is going to be a really useful tool for teachers and also students, of course. And if you found this video useful, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.